Lewis is lurking. Okay, Lewis. Everyone's lurking. Don't you like tanks? It's a beast look. Oh, tank, 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 tank. Yeah, everyone's tank. Oh, Look. so that one takes a... Uh... Oh, what's it called then? Well, it's a bit on it, isn't it? Can it take a vehicle or what? What goes on that? Do you reckon it takes something on top? Do you reckon yeah. it's, a, it's a roof rack? Is that a roof rack? Yeah, what would it have on it, though, do you reckon? Would it have rocket launchers on it, do you reckon? <laughs> no, because that, that struts the wrong way to rocket launch something that way, isn't it? Oh, no, so it went that way. Yeah, too backwards, maybe. What you say? Nice. Cool. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, Tank. Well, both of them lift up with rocket launchers on and then shoot them in the air. Could do. It looks like it's carrying some heavy, but it's got sort a of little fixing bits on the sides, yeah? Yeah, that'll be all it spares, isn't it? And the water and the fuel. Roof rack, yeah. Big roof rack. So many years ago, I don't know what that tank is, but I, I worked at uh, I worked at Bovington Museum, which is a tank regiment museum or a tank museum. There's another one. Yeah, they, that's that's one for building bridges. That's just a bridge, isn't it? Oh, there's loads in here. Building bridges. Was in the tank military, really? Here's another one. This is the what. This is what you want to look at. Hmm. What the hell would you call that one? But what I had to do there. So this place, the museum was made out of tin, like a huge tin place, like a hangar, obviously three or four of them, and the Queen was visiting. And I had to paint the outside where she, the, the face of you, what she saw, camouflage. So I was there two weeks painting this place camouflage. And I picked out the door. And the, the guy came round. He went, what are you doing? I went to paint the door. He went, don't paint the door like that. He says, I see it's a door. He says, if there was an airplane going past in the sky and you'd left it like that, he'll say, that's a door. You haven't camouflaged the door, you've picked it out. He goes, I'd, he, he said, he'd just bomb that straight away, hoping that there's someone stood behind it at the door. I'm like, oh, okay. So I painted a different. Ooh. Crazy. Because these are getting all camouflaged up. These have all been repainted after war. I know, I'm looking at it and thinking, that is a really early one. Though, that is an early one. But in the museum, there was ones there from like, the, the very first ones. The very first, there was every, I think it was every one. Every, every tank there. And German ones, American ones. Look at this beast. That's got a, do something. Oh yeah. That isn't it. It's a it's a road. It's a load. It's a road. Ah, okay. I bet you this regiment here in Chatham, that's what they do. Is they lay the roads and bridges. They're the um not the artillery with the guns and shit. Right. But the artillery will be with these. Um, while these build, what are they called? Fast workers. They're fast workers. Do you pull in some? Yeah, people from here. They'll be the engineers in that. Engine, that's them. Yeah. yeah, these are the engineers. I wonder if we can get in there. Oh yeah. Let's go and stroke the tanks. Engineers, that's it, Cash. Please do not climb on the vehicles. Right, this, oh, look, they've all got names.
the terrier is in in it of 21st century so this is a new one combat engineering tractor we don't want to spend too long here though do we i don't know but hey sing and say hello how are you doing buddy We've just come across this place, the Royal Engineers Museum. We thought we couldn't get inside. Oh, God. Oh, this is a wooden tank oh, for the kids to play with. So this one here is a Titan AL, AVLB. Engineers purpose is to get troops and vehicles across large gaps yeah these are the engineering boys and there's your missile launcher over there look look at that beast a centurion and a Centurion Arc. An armoured ramp carrier. Here you go, Clive. That's what it does. It gets you over the hill. He doesn't need to get up there, does he? Oh, he just stays there, just getting letting them get on. on I the think beach, they're maybe. sometimes one-use wonders, aren't they? I don't know. That's just getting off the beach then. No, they might well put three or four tanks together at the front. They might pull him up. Ah, oh, yeah. Throw a chain down. Look at the chains. Yeah. So he just throws them up, and a couple of tanks give him a tug, and he's out. Because he would just go straight up it, wouldn't he? Yeah, look at the size of this one. Oh, he works for this one and gets this one. <gasps> look at the confined spaces in there. When I was working at the museum, I got in a few of the tanks and yeah you won't want to be in there when shrapnel's just come and pass because you just get shaken about everywhere bang your head off of me it's all metal in it you can't see much in there but yeah impressive This looks like a new one. There's your rocket launcher. Oh, okay, armored personnel carry. Saw service in West Germany, but also later during the Gulf War on the roof. It's got a Rolls Royce engine in it.
and this is what they started off with. Is that Indian? That's not right. Why is the cannons all got relief on them? They're all sculptured. What do you call them? Inlaid? Oh, what, like all got patterns? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. These guns were captured in 1885 by forces under the command of Major General the Burmese Castans and are between one and three centuries old. They are among the oldest types of artillery piece used in the field compared to the European foundry methods. The Burmese casting techniques were already antique, using a wooden newel or core rather than drilling out the ball. Consequently, one gun has a slightly bent ball and would have fired uniquely. They are mounted on antique presentation carriages themselves over a century old. Oh my days! But why? That's crazy! Imagine if you're one of the people to get hit by that one at the coming. Over a hundred years old. Yeah, but imagine the ball, like, that kind of white. The size of that hitting you is like a human body. Like, it's just fucking nasty. Oh yeah, it'd break a few ribs, wouldn't it? Break yeah. your leg. Yeah, just take your leg clean off. And Squash your head. Head, fucking explode, wouldn't you? Mm. Something that size. Yeah. Because they're... They come out with some force, don't they? Oh, chieftain, chieftain tank. Launching bridges. So the chieftain is the one I remember from when I worked at the museum. Well, when I painted the museum. The tank museum. But it didn't look like that, I'm sure. It's got all different... I was staring at the right bar and just looking at things. And a Trojan. Now that puts a bridge down, look. Doesn't it? A roly roly one. Brings a whole new man and draw out love and a Trojan come outside to see my Trojan. <laughs> Yeah, look, yeah, of 1855. Don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, these guns were captured in November 1885. And they're made of wood. They are mounted. Oh, okay. The um, not the guns. The the stands. The stands, I believe. Over. A, well, it must be the same. Round the same. The carriages. Where are we? Royal Engineers Museum. I've been, so I've lived in this area 12 years and I've been down this road once. And we're not too far away from where we, yeah, well, I live in this area. That looks a bit clean. Hasn't done a work, a bit of work in all of his life. Don't know what happened. 
What's happened? Oh. Okay, this is some sort of sundial. This sundial was presented to the corpse of Royal Engineers by the uh, master. How does it work? We've got no sun. We need a Viking one. We need a Viking sun sundial. Time is it? Twenty to one. I got three, three stars, three, three bits. That is a weird looking sundial. <gasps> Come on then, let's go and get some signal for you. Oh. Yep, let's go. Oh. 